Hello beloved, are you in an abusive relationship? Are you around toxic people that you need to get rid of? This topic might be for you. Please stay tuned and we'll talk about it in just a second. Hello everyone, I want to thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. I want to welcome you if this is your first time. I also want to thank you so much for tuning in and I hope everybody is doing good. I'm blessed this morning and I just want to thank you so much for tuning in again. So today I want to talk about how to deal with toxic people and how to avoid toxic relationships. Who is a toxic person? One might ask. A toxic person to me is somebody who doesn't see any good thing in anybody. When they, are, when they open their mouth, it's either they are insulting you, they are saying hurtful things, demeaning things, bringing you down. They never see any good thing in you. That is the people I consider toxic people. Sometimes they tend to hide under joking. Oh, I was just joking. No, it's not a joke. You must recognize who they are. And if you have those people in your life, you must find a way to get rid of them. If they are friends, you can easily do that. But what if, if that person is a spouse? How do you de deal with such a person? Or if it's a parent, you cannot get rid of them. What if you have a parent that is very abusive or a very toxic parent? How do you deal with that person? We all know that there are some parents that are very abusive to their children. They don't know how to encourage them. Every little thing they do, they'll find something bad to say about it. And that makes the child feel very, very insecure. Very, very ashamed of themselves. How, the, how do you deal with an abusive or a toxic parent? If you're a little child and you can't confront your mom or your dad, hopefully you can get a relative or somebody in the school system to have a parent's teacher meeting to confront your parent how you truly feel because one way or the other is going to come out the child will go to school and then some of the comments or the things they will say about themselves will alert their teachers to let them know that they have a toxic parent at home who is constantly bringing them down and killing their spirit this is not an issue that should be taken lightly if you are in a toxic relationship, either your spouse or your significant other is insulting you all the time, putting their hands on you all the time, you don't have to stay in that relationship. First, you have to sit down and confront the person about how they are making you feel. They might be aware of it, they might not be aware of it, but it starts with the communication. If they do not stop, Try to see if you can go counseling or something. If that doesn't help, you have tried everything and it's not helping, then maybe it's not worth it for you to be in that relationship. So now let's move on. We'll come back to um, verbal abuse and emotional abuse as to being in a toxic relationship. Now let's come back to... Um, now let's move on to physical abuse. How do you know that you're in a physical abusive relationship and how you're supposed to get out of that relationship? Guys, I'll start with the guys. Guys who are very physically abusive to their, their significant other, sometimes it will start with anger, insults, you know, insults here and there. And then it will move on to pushing you around, shoveling you around. Look, if you are in such a relationship and it's already happening, I will tell you 90 out of 100 that this guy is going to start hitting you. If you are in a relationship where your significant other can shovel you around, push you around, scare you, first of all, the respect is gone. He doesn't respect you anymore. So now he feel like he's entitled to do whatever he can do with you. If you don't get out now, before you realized he is not just hitting you with his hand, 
but he has started to hit you with objects. So be mindful of what a toxic relationship is. If you are in a relationship with a man or with a woman and it starts with hitting, pushing, shoveling you around, those are signs of a future abuse that is going to happen if you don't get out of it. How does all these things contribute to emotional abuse? Anybody that has been in a physical abusive relationship or verbally abusive relationship or sexually abusive relationship, you might tend to say they have issues because if that problem is not dealt with properly through counseling or not talked about or not dealt with the right way, then it becomes a burden or a baggage. Anywhere, anytime you go to any new relationship, you think you're going to go through the same thing. So if you have been through that relationship, make sure that you seek professional help. Try counseling. Try to talk to people, people that really have your best interest at heart. Talk to them and see how you can deal with it gradually. And I can guarantee you that with time, you will heal and you'll be able to be in a profound healthy relationship but if you are in an abusive relationship and you are in a relationship with maybe your spouse I'm not gonna advise you to break your marriage but seek counseling sit down and talk to that individual however after so many effort if that doesn't help then you might want to consider maybe separating yourself from that individual because the sad thing is as human beings whatever we go through is stuck with us it's very very difficult for you to go through an abusive relationship and just get out of it and be okay as if everything is normal again god did not design our psyche that way whatever we go through it sticks with us and if we don't deal with it properly it becomes a problem so if you are listening to me today and you are in a relationship with anybody whether it's a parent a spouse a boyfriend girlfriend relationship whatever and the person is always bringing your spirit down always telling you how fat that you are how too skinny that you are you never seem to be perfect for them if that is a potential fiance that you are thinking about marrying to you you might want to reconsider that if that is just a mere friendship you are having with somebody you might want to reconsider that friendship if that is a spouse you might want to sit this spouse down and talk to them and go to counseling. If it's a parent, do the same or have the school know. If you are not old enough to confront your parent, then you might want to let the school know, the school counselor or psychologist know. If you are old enough, you have to sit that parent down and tell them, look, mom or dad, I cannot tolerate any more of your insults and always putting my spirit down. So please, you need to stop doing this to me. It's not helping my self-image. It's not helping me at all. Sit down and talk to them. If that doesn't help, then you can find other alternatives as to maybe letting the school authority know or maybe separating yourself a little bit from that parent. Because putting somebody down, it's not the right way to have a good relationship with anybody. So this is a very vague topic that we cannot finish it all today. It's something we'll continue some other time. But to, for today, I'll end here. I hope this topic was helpful to you if you were listening to me. Um, thank you so much for staying tuned. May God richly bless you and take good care of yourself. We'll continue some other time. If you have any comments, do not be hesitant to leave them down below for me. And I'll be more than happy to get back to you as soon as possible, okay? Life without Jesus Christ is lifeless. Stay blessed. I love you all. Bye-bye.